Hello everyone, I'm Tommy with Studio Sims. Welcome back to day four of the Blind Buy First Impressions Week. I hope you've enjoyed it thus far. I know I certainly have. I'm excited to get right into it with another brand new bottle today. Now before I do, I just wanted to briefly mention yesterday, we talked about Versace Pour Homme or Versace Signature. And I just wanted to make a brief mention. I normally don't speak too much to longevity or too much to projection simply because it is a first impression. The format of a first impression, you don't really talk about that because it's time sensitive. However, as I mentioned in the video, I did wear this. I rocked it out all day yesterday. And let me just tell you, this guy right Right here is a summertime banger. That lemon freshness, that citrusy bergamot lemon, zesty lemon lasted all day long. So longevity, I got a good 12 hours longevity. In fact, this morning, I'd smelled sufficiently enough like this that I had to take a shower knowing that I was gonna do a first impression of a new fragrance. That's pretty awesome. We can, when you can wake up smelling the previous day's fragrance on your skin, that is a really good indication of a summertime banger or wintertime banger, whatever time of season, whatever time of year it is that you're wearing. Now the projection, just briefly mentioned, the projection followed suit with about a good four hours with a two foot radius. Versace Pour Homme, just a quick note about that before we get into our new bottle today. The fragrance that I'm featuring today was created by perfumer Melanie Carestia. Picture over here. It was launched in 2016, so it is four years old. So four years old on day four, pretty appropriate. It's a fragrance that YouTube reviewers have talked about a bit over the last four years. It's garnered a good bit of attention, yet I know absolutely nothing about it. I had ordered it a few days before I ran into a video review by, I believe, Chad from Gentleman's Journey. So we must be vibrating on the same frequency or, or have the, the fragrance community hive mind or something. So by now you know what I'm referring to, and that is Radiant Bergamot by Ferrari. Ferrari's Radiant Bergamot is a unisex fragrance. It is an eau de toilette, 100 ml bottle. As a note or a cord, it's featuring one of the freshest of the fresh, the host and or hostess to one of the best opens ever, donning its top hat, see what I did there, and taking center stage is Bergamot. We're gonna talk about Radiant Bergamot and bust in the box in just a moment, so stay tuned, be right back. Welcome back everyone. We're talking about Ferrari's Radiant Bergamot today. Now I've never tried this. I've heard good things about it just like most of my blind buys. It's really hard when you're in kind of in the midst of the fragrance community and your own forums and you're constantly researching. It's hard to run across a fragrance that you haven't heard about. You know, technically I have heard about this. I really know nothing about it other than the fact that it has bergamot in it, Calabrian bergamot. We're gonna find out what the difference between regular bergamot and Calabrian bergamot. In fact, that is a good question. Hmm, what is bergamot? Bergamot. If you search the internet for what is bergamot, what will come up is a definition here. What the heck is bergamot? Under the heading, the picture, you've got a good definition. It's actually talking about Earl Grey tea. That's the main component. Anyone who's familiar with Earl Grey tea knows the fragrant citrusy scent and distinct flavor of bergamot. What the heck is it? Where does it come from? Bergamot's a fragrant citrus fruit from the tropical citrus bergamia plant, or bergamia, common throughout the Mediterranean. The fruit's the size of an orange, yet similar to color a lime, or even yellowish, depending on the ripeness. Like other citrus fruits, bergamot has a distinctive, heady fragrance and flavor. It's highly aromatic. Essential oils are extracted from the rind. The fragrant oils used to make perfumes, cologne, scented soaps, and of course, Earl Grey tea. It eases stress, anxiety, depression, improves mood, protects against diabetes, heart disease, aids in weight loss, assists in proper digestion. A few other properties of it. It also is a natural deodorant and air freshener. A couple things you probably didn't know. And if you search for what does it look like, this is what it comes up. A bunch of pictures, of bergamot oil, some applications of it. If you also search for what is Calabrian bergamot, you get this right here. Calabrian bergamot is a citrus fruit growing in a plot of land overlooking the Ionian Sea at the toe of the Italian boot. The uniqueness of the Calabrian bergamot is perhaps due to a spontaneous bud mutation of the lemon or a hybridization between the bitter orange and the citron or the lemon. All right, let's check out the presentation for Ferrari Radiant Bergamot. I am getting pretty good at, again, taking it off in one fell swoop. The box itself is the iconic 
shows the iconic logo of the Ferrari horse in the middle there. And you've got a kind of a taupe or creamy light tan color and a silver on the bottom with an embossed tan color Ferrari Radiant Bergamot Eau de Toilette, 3.3 ounces or 100 mil as you can see on the front. There's nothing on both sides. On the very top, of course, you've got Ferrari logo and on the bottom you've got your batch code. The UPC I'll hold it still for those of you interested in batches. Get into the box. Nothing special about inside, just a typical. That glass is quite heavy though, so I feel like I'm gonna like the presentation. Especially since the bottle itself is really kind of hard to tell, but it's almost like a, well, it's not almost, it is a it is a mint green. I feel like this is gonna have mint in it, although I know nothing about the notes, I'm just guessing. Probably won't have any mint in it, but that would be kind of cool if it did to match the actual color, because that is a mint, mint green color. Again, you can see the horse logo. Ferrari font, Radiant Bergamot, but on the very bottom you do have your batch code and a product stamp there. I don't know if you can even see it, so I'm looking right at it in good lighting and I can't hardly even see it. On the top the lid also features the horse, and around the lid itself is a tan colored leather. This actually reminds me of a gear shift, like the head or the top of a gear shift. The ball kind of looks like that. You can see kind of the leather stitching there that's pretty cool so just judging by the presentation alone it looks like it's going to have mint and leather in it which are probably two notes that aren't in it but that would be kind of cool if it were the glass itself is very heavy it's got a nice style to it as you can see put it right here it's indented on the inside of the bottle and so you've got a nice kind of a, a wide grip on either side here so that makes it kind of very grippy and nice. I like that. I like the presentation a lot. And as you can see, good bit of glass there. It's about a half inch. That'll be protective of if you ever drop your bottle. That glass there will protect the juice in all likelihood. So now that we know a little bit more about bergamot, let's talk about the notes. We know bergamot is one of the accords in this. What are some of the others? So in the top, we do have three accords. We've got Italian lemon, Calabrian bergamot, and ginger. Three notes or three accords in the mid as well. Rosemary, geranium, and nutmeg. It's interesting, nutmeg has been in the previous fragrances that we've reviewed as well. So there's there's a little bit of a pattern here for summer, spring and summer fragrances. Going down into the base, you've got uh, patchouli, labdanum, and labdanum, that's a hard one to say, uh, patchouli, labdanum, and moss. Without further ado, let's go ahead and test it out on a tester strip and then we'll do a, a skin test. Let me get my tester strip for my assistant. Thank you, appreciate that. It's a very ASMR thing to do, someone said in comments, so I thought I would do that again to break that fourth wall. <laughs> okay, now I do like that lid. The lid is extremely heavy, again, solidifying the fact that it's very similar to a gear shift, the top of a gear shift. Fits on very nice and snug. I wouldn't necessarily hold the bottle up by it, but it is pretty snug there. There's like two levels of snapping that down on the top and the bottom and it fits really nicely. This is a unisex fragrance, however, the presentation is masculine to me. I mean, it's, I guess one could say it's generic enough to fit either male or female perspective, but to me, it's a lot more utilitarian and masculine look looking than it is female. I mean, considering my wife's Versace Bright Crystal Absolute, considering that, that blingy, bedazzled pop, it looks like a huge pink diamond with facets all over it. Yeah, this is definitely masculine. One, two, three. Decent atomizer. Sprays a good bit of juice. Okay, wow. This is a, this is a lot more spicy than I anticipated. Hmm, I don't know. I've actually smelled bergamots that were a lot more, I think, appropriate to the word radiant than this. So effervescent bergamot would probably be a better name for it. Now that's because of the ginger. So immediately perceptible is the ginger in this. So you get that ginger because it is so paramount to most fragrances to lifting them off your skin and creating more of a projection. That's that's the purpose of ginger. Uh, ginger also makes it kind of fizz up in your nose a little bit. So it gives it that effervescent feel. It almost gives it kind of a sophisticated barbershop sensation 
By no means do I feel like this is a barbershop fragrance. However, I wouldn't consider this unisex. Kind of surprises me that that's how they labeled this. This is not a fragrance that lends itself to being um, sweet or gourmand. This is definitely a, an effervescent bergamot, spicy ginger fragrance, but this is the open, right? So from the open to the mid to the dry down, fragrances often change a little bit until they get, can get into the meat of their profile, the meat of their DNA. And I feel like this is just the open that I'm perceiving right now. And there's a lot more that this can do. I feel like this is going to be a little bit more complicated fragrance than, than it's an initial impression. So I'm going to give it a moment to dry. While it's drying on the tester strip, I'm going to go ahead and spray it on skin. Let's get a couple here, a couple here, one there, one there, and what the heck. I usually don't spray in my neck, but you know, we're gonna go for it today. So what did I do? One, two, three, four, five, six, like seven or seven or eight sprays. One thing I do love about Versace Pour Homme and now Ferrari Radiant Bergamot and fragrances like this spring and summer fragrances, they are light enough. They have light enough of a profile and a, and a DNA essence to where you can spray them on very heavily, usually very heavily. Now, I will say again, Versace Pour Homme, and I feel like this is gonna turn out to be one as well they are bangers, meaning that the longevity is really, really good. So oftentimes, especially with lemon-based fragrances, it's easy to overspray because that lemon is, is a strong, aggressive fragrance and oil, and, and it can cause you to go a little bit anosmic, and you're thinking, ah, I don't smell it at all, I need to spray more on. Then you become a moron. See the correlation there? Anyway, it's easy to overspray. Just be very, very careful of that. And if you have a domestic partner, wife, girlfriend, boyfriend, ask their opinion on it. You know, get, get close to them and say, is this too much? Am I cloying? How do you feel about it? Above and beyond the obvious effervescent ginger. So you've got nutmeg, you've got labdanum and moss. These are contributing to the masculine feel that I'm getting out of this. So, it's a little bit less bright, a little bit less effervescent. It is still popping off my skin, but I'm getting a more of a kind of a creamy creaminess about it. Now, earlier I mentioned before I knew anything about it at all, hadn't even looked at the notes, that there might be a mint, that there, there really isn't a mint, but because of that ginger, which does again cause it to kind of fizz, kind of pop, kind of fizzle in your nose there, it feels like mint a little bit. So the combination of notes in here does give kind of a phantom mint note, we'll say. So it's kind of a creamy mint though. It's not a very, like, it's not a spearmint. It's not a peppermint. It's kind of a creamy mint, which I really, really like. I didn't think I would like as much, but I, I'm coming to really like that. I feel like in the dry down, I'm really gonna like this, this fragrance a lot more as it kind of opens up and becomes a little bit more mature. Again, Radiant Bergamot is an appropriate name for this. Kind of a generic word that encompasses all of those features of its personality though. So I can't say that it's not aptly named. Okay, well, when to wear this? We are talking about spring and summer categories. So when can you wear a fragrance that is perfect for spring and summer, that is very light, very zesty, very airy, very effervescent? Daytime, right? Daytime wear, it's perfect for casual wear, office wear, um, work wear, uh, working on your project wear, self-isolation wear. This is a very comforting fragrance. That that lemon, that zestiness, it gives you a little bit of a perk. Like the first thing in the morning when you need your coffee, you start drinking your coffee and you're thinking about what fragrance to wear to get your day started. I can see spraying this on and kind of, it's eye-opening, it's zesty, it's perky, it's, it's spicy, and it gives a, a little bit of that nice, almost minty pungent, pungency that ginger and the patchouli, labdamum, the moss or the moss that's in here. It gives it that nice base, get a little bit heavier base. And then you get the, the bergamot and the lemon, which adds the, the creamy or the sweetness to it uh, with the labdamum adding the cream to this. So perfect for casual daytime wear. Yes, you can wear this in nighttime. I would say this is spring and summer only. This would be a good as lemon-based fragrances are, a decent high heat fragrance, so you can wear it anywhere from 45 degree all the way up to 90 plus degree weather. So high heat is gonna work just fine. I don't know if it's gonna fall out in high heat or if it's gonna add more to it, but my guess is very much like Versace Pour Homme is probably gonna add a little bit of oomph to the longevity and the projection with higher heat. This is not necessarily what I would call a hidden gem because it's been featured in a lot of fragrance reviews. 
However, I would say it is a gem and it is a cheapie. This is very, very inexpensive. As, as I typically have been doing this week, I'm gonna leave a couple links below where you can purchase this and you'll see that price is right where you want it to be. Looking forward to getting other Ferrari products. Radiant Bergamot is a hit. I really do like it. Perfect spring and summer accoutrement to your activities, whether you're at home or you're going out to get the essentials at the store. This is gonna be something you'll wanna to wear to kind of perk things up, eye opener, make you feel fresh and invigorated and likely last all day just like you and your energy. All right, guys, that's it for my first impression blind buy of Ferrari's Radiant Bergamot. Really, really like it. So far, we're four for four for hits. It's gonna be a, a really nice addition to the spring and summer rotation. So if you don't already have it, Highly recommend it. Again, I'll leave a couple links below if you want to purchase it or check more out about it there. So thanks so much for stopping by and watching. I really do appreciate you and your support. Make sure to tune in tomorrow morning. We're going to have day five of our Blind Buy First Impressions Week. Again, thank you so much for tuning in and for all your comments and your support. I'm Tommy with Studio Sense, and I'll see you in the morning. Welcome to Studio Sense Behind the Scenes. This is just an unscripted, completely unedited little bit of information as the credits are rolling on the video that you just watched, which I really appreciate you watching. If you want to continue watching this and get a little bit of supplemental or different information or additional thoughts that I didn't have time to put into the video, please feel free to continue watching until this ends. It's not going to be super long. I just wanted to add very briefly because I didn't in the video itself, the difference of between smelling this on a strip and then smelling it on my skin. Now, on my skin, the bergamot has really kind of given way to the deeper, um, more dense, more complex personality of the fragrance profile. So it isn't radiant at all. It's not bright, but I like that fact. It's very, very, very subtle, a little bit more subdued. On this, the ginger, on the, on the strip, the ginger is still there, ginger still popping. On, on skin, the ginger is mixed with oils of my, of my skin. It's mixed with the bergamot, the labdanum, the patchouli, everything else that's in here in the base most specifically. And it gives kind of a sandalwoody, like an effervescent gingery, sandalwoody, lemony fragrance. Bounces right back to your nose, which is very, very pleasant. So. I liked this to begin with. I really like its dry down on skin, most especially better than a fragrance strip. Of course, fragrance strips are just an idea of what the fragrance is gonna do. It isn't really the, uh, the gospel as to what the fragrance is or is going to do. So that's it, pretty much. Thanks so much for sticking around for the supplemental video for additional information. I'm gonna probably continue doing this in the future if you think it's a good idea. Let me know in the comments below if you think it's a thumbs up or I don't wanna see any additional information, just show me the door and I'm on my way. You guys have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.